Okay, so the next process, once I've sorted the wool into the whites and the bits that need to go through the dyeing process, um, is to pick the wool, which means to remove the VM or vegetable matter from the actual wool itself. Um, and it also opens up the fibres of the wool and makes it much more sort of um, open and um, lofty for putting through the carding machine. It means that the carding machine is going to have less of a problem um, taking it through. Um, so for that purpose, um, I use this picker, which is a picker I made myself. Um, you can't really buy them on the open market, so I had to make one. Um, and the pro the the way that this works is I just take out the take off the lid, um, and then this piece slides out. And the end comes out as well. And this is where this wool comes out from once it's been picked. Um, and inside this unit we have this, which is the handle, which has, if I take it out you'll see, it has a load of um, nails at a 45 degree angle. Um, and there are corresponding nails inside the actual machine itself, um, which are offset slightly so they don't hit each other as they go through and they point the opposite direction. These ones point that direction, these point the opposite direction. And the idea is that as you push the wool through, it kind of teases the wool through the actual nails. And then it comes out the other end. There is a set of nails pointing this direction at the other end, which actually removes any wool from, from the nails that are pointing this way. They kind of push, pushes the wool off the handle and then it pushes it out with the next pass out the other end of the machine. And the easiest way to show you how that works is to actually um, to do it. So I've got my wool here, which has been passed through the uh, sorting stage. I'm just going to literally pop it all onto the table here because I need to use this bucket at the other end to take the wool out and to, to, once it's been picked for it to fall into. So I'll just put that all there. There's quite a lot of it, as you can see. That's only a third of a fleece. So I've now put the bucket at the other end. Um, and what we do is we put the lumps of fleece in the machine at this end. And don't put too much in at a time.
to put too much in at a time. show you what you get at the other end this is what it comes out looking like there's virtually no bits left in there now no VM and it's much easier to send this through a carding machine now light and fluffy and uh, basically you just work your way through the fleece uh, continuing to do that until you've got it all done and the next process is going to be to card this okay so come back to you with that <laughs> 